Several videos back, I mentioned that my favorite word is no, N-O, and it's true. And then last week, I started talking about how everyone's mean to each other. Um, and uh, I thought it was just kind of funny that I could have such uh, strong opinions that seem to not really be in line with each other. But so I want to explain a little bit more why my favorite word is no and how that is not actually coming from a mean place. So it's actually, it's a little counterintuitive, but it's actually coming from a very respectful um, and a very empowering place if I'm saying no to someone for whatever reason. And I think that um, it could be helpful for when you have to turn down um, a request professionally, personally, it comes up in all aspects of life. And so um, this is a little bit of what is going through my head when I have to tell someone no, because the answer is truly no. It's not going to work. And so if I say anything other than no, it's going to be inauthentic. So I wrote down three reasons um, or three things that are going through my head when uh, I, I tell someone no, and these uh, all help me say no with confidence that uh, I'm doing the best thing for all parties involved. So the first thing that's going through my head is that if you're asking me something, it's like you want something from me in, in some way or another. It's easier to put this in like a professional context. So let's just say someone has some, is looking to me as an editor and they want something from me. Um, it's not true only in that situation, but just to give that a little context. I see that person, if I have to tell them no, because it's just not going to work. I see that person as whole and good and not needing that thing that they think they want from me. They might have that idea in their head. It doesn't mean that it's right. And uh, without getting too much off track, you know, me t telling no, it doesn't mean that I'm always right either when I tell someone no. I might not be making the right decision. That is certainly a possibility. But um, I'm glad I relate this to being an editor because an aspect of being an editor um, is you just have to make judgment calls quickly and move on. And that's part of the job and that's part of the skill set. I have an article on Coffee Blogger about that. So make sure to check out the links in the description box because um, if you want to know more about judgment calls and being an editor and sort of the things that go into being a strong editor that don't have to do with grammar and punctuation and spelling and all of that fun stuff, writer nerd, editor nerd stuff. There's more, there's more uh, to being an editor than that. So if I'm telling you no, I see you as completely perfect exactly where you are. You don't need that thing that you think you want from me and I have confidence that you're going to do something else better that, um, or something else without me because I've said no to your request. Um, the second thing that is going through my head is that if I know the answer is no, or the, the right the answer, the best answer from my point of view is no. If I think it's no and I cave in and I'm wishy-washy and I say yes and try to make it work, it is only going to lead to frustrations and pretending that the situation is okay when it's it really not ideal. And it can be frustrating for all the people involved. So it is better to say no than try to force something that really isn't a good fit and it's going to cause more problems down the line than you know the initial kind of ickiness of just saying no if that makes you feel uncomfortable. The problems down the line are worse than the initial ickiness of saying no. So if the answer truly is no, say it. <laughs> I lost my train of thought a little bit. Um, I think because it's so simple and I was trying to make it more profound. It's not profound. It's very simple. And then the third reason, which could be my favorite. I really like number one a lot. 
because I really think it is special to see another person who you're saying no to as um, perfectly positioned to do exactly what they want to do without your help. I think that is just really cool. But I really like this one too because it has to do with creativity. And um, all the rejection that you receive, if you choose um, to not give up, it's such great fuel for finding more creative ways to do the things that you want to do, um, to push yourself further, Let's see if there's anything um, else that is more, that sounds better than what I just said. No, and the, I mean, the, the only extra example that I have here is that I just really, really appreciate all the rejection that I've had um, because I always uh, was able to find a way that I liked better. You know, I had an idea of how things were supposed to go. I had an idea of what I wanted to do. Um, and if I got rejected from it, I you always have to like find, okay, well, what's my next step? Uh, what can I do now? And whatever I found in replacement of that thing that I thought I wanted, um, always ended up being so much better because it ended up being a right fit and not something um, that could easily be rejected. If you're rejected from something, it's just not the right fit. It doesn't mean that there's not something else closely related out there. Um, so you really uh, open yourself up to better possibilities um, if you're rejected. And that's another reason why I feel like I can say no to someone with confidence because they're going to find the better opportunity, the right opportunity, because they're not limited in some situation with me where we're both, uh, you know, not happy and frustrated. They have the freedom now that I've cut them loose in whatever way by saying no, um, to explore what is meant. For them. So I hope that gives you some perspective on why it's really important to say no to someone else if um, the answer is truly no and that is what you feel you should tell them. That is it for today. If you are not already subscribed and want to join me every week, I publish new videos on Wednesdays. Tap the red subscribe button below the video. Uh, and tap the notification bell because that way you will know when I've published a new video. And if you like this uh, topic, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps uh, let me know uh, whether you're liking what I'm posting or not. So thank you so much. I will see you next week.